AI agents, and no, we're not talking about some guys in some black suits. We're talking about AI agents like AutoGPT, which are basically agents that run by themselves and complete tasks for you. First, we're gonna shout out the true hero of the story, which is our homie Sully Omar on Twitter. He did awesome with this research. If you saw my last video about AutoGPT, the main focal point of that video was about the tasks that can be completed using that tool. As Sully points out, the best way to think about these agents are as AI agents that run by themselves and complete almost any task for you. We're gonna do four things in this video. We're gonna talk about these AI agents and what it means for the past, the present, and the future of AI. We're gonna figure out all the coolest possibilities of how to use these. We're gonna check out some of the coolest stuff that's already being built using these AI agents. And then at the end, we're gonna build our own. Before all that, I will ask you if you're interested in AI, tech, blockchain, any of that type of stuff please do me a huge favor go down smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this consistently this video aims to do a few things it aims to teach but it also aims to shed a spotlight on other really smart people working in this field so that's what we're gonna do i'm trying to give sully some love here so cheers to sully let's first go over what are these ai agents it's basically just an AI system that, given a task, runs in a loop until that task is solved. The AI first gets the assigned goal, figures out what it needs to do to accomplish that goal by itself, and then either recruits or builds more AI to do it. Let's show how this is done by using an example. The first thing we're always gonna do is define the task. Let's just use Sully's goal of solving world hunger. From here, we're gonna have to tell the AI to, in order to solve world hunger, how can we create simpler tasks? The coolest part is, at this point, the AI knows exactly what it needs to do and the steps to take to make sure that happens. And then it goes off and does each one of those tasks until the goal is completed. But why is this such a big deal and how is this so new or better than the traditional models from OpenAI? Well, the first problem is they can't store much. They don't really have memory. They're limited to 4,096 to 8,000 tokens or roughly three to 6,000 words. But some really smart people found a solution called vector embeddings. And what they enable is these AI models to do is basically just have longer memory. They store completed tasks in a database and then they check that database to see if a task is already completed before it moves on to the next one. Just like in our last video, AutoGPT starts to take that one step further. The creator Sig Gravitas created an AI agent that could write its own code and fix it self-improving at every step. It also was given internet access, which adds another layer of possibilities. So basically this large language model or LLM can break down a goal into simpler tasks, creating a task list for itself, write its own code, search the internet, and then launch sub agents to accomplish those tasks. So the biggest or most important features of AutoGPT or any of these AI agents compared to previous models are internet access for searches and getting information, longer, short, and long-term memory. It uses GPT-4 and it has file storage and summarization. And just a few of the things that these AI agents are gonna be able to do very soon is the first time that I've actually felt your job might actually start being at risk here pretty soon. Stuff like coding, research, marketing, accounting, financial analysis. These AI agents can run 24 seven for only 50 cents an hour. Let's talk about some of the coolest things that are already being built by these AI agents, or more importantly, people that are building AI agents to build really cool things. Why not start with the hero of the story? We'll start with Sully, who found a way to do eight hours worth of market research for a shoe company in less than eight minutes. Baby AGI can complete tasks, generate new tasks, prioritize those tasks based on the results all in real time. Then of course we have AutoGPT from Sig Gravitas, but more on that in my last video, you can check that one after this one. The best part is we have really smart people building off of really smart other people to build even cooler products. Products that might be more specific to a specific use case or just more user friendly. Like Omar creating baby AGI specifically focused on sales prospecting. We have AutoGPT for product research and countless others already. Okay, so how can we set this up and start using or creating our own AI agents? The most technical thing that we're gonna need to do is be able to learn how to run terminal commands. Once you do that, you're basically gonna go like this. Step one, get set up, download Python, download Docker desktop, and then get an open AI API key. Links for all of this are gonna be in the description down below to make it 10 times easier for you. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clone the repo created by Turan Git clone and paste the link. We're gonna CD auto GPT inside the terminal where you see .env.template. This is where you're gonna put your open AI API key. We're then gonna duplicate the file and rename it to just .env. 
run the command pip install dash r requirements.txt. Make sure you have Docker running this whole time. Then run Python scripts backslash main.py. And boom, you're good to go. But if that sounded like total gibberish to you and you wanna try this without having to code or know your terminal, well, I got something just for you. Let's check out agent GPT created from Shrijan on Twitter. This is basically gonna do all the same things of creating these AI agents without having to code anything. So this whole video seems super cool, but there are drawbacks and these things aren't perfect. Let's check out Sam Whitmore on Twitter who gives his side of the story. He's been building using these agents for over three months. He says, before you get too scared or hyped about autonomous agents, just try running one yourself. They have flashes of clarity and then they tend to rabbit hole, get stuck, go off course. They need intense guardrails to reliably perform a task. They can be very random. They have a five to 15% failure rate for every new loop. Just like anything else, he warns not give too much access because that's when things could actually get a tad scary. Like don't give it REPL access. It does not have superpowers yet. It's just a little bit stronger version of a Python script given API access for now. So it seems a little scary in advance, but it still has a long way to go. It makes a lot of errors, but I think this is one of the coolest new breakthroughs and really shows how people are building off of the already crazy advancement and research you've gone into AI. All the smartest people are here building new cool stuff. So if you want to stay in the loop, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.